Hello, fellow engineers. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars adventure in space engineers. Well, the verdict is in. The crowd has decided and we are going to you go in, you jump in and, and start. So let's take a look here. I'm going to go uh, low game actually. I'm going to just double check the settings. I created everything ahead of time. That way it's all ready. If you go edit settings here, we kind of see this is how you can change settings on a game world kind of wrote the stuff in uh, all the mods that hopefully are in it uh, doo -doo -doo. yeah all of them are here which is good and then we go back to here realistic time 0 0.5 yeah this is gonna be crazy I'm not sure how this is gonna look but we're gonna try it and go from there we can always change these settings it's not a big deal but I don't want to per se because part of the run is this there was another setting in here that I wanted to talk about uh, I didn't talk about in the last episode spawn with tools this is turned off so which means that I won't have any tools in the inventory and I don't know if there will be tools in the craft that you drop in if if when you do this it replaces it in this in the respawn ship not sure about that so this is what we're going to experience together <laughs> I've always had that on but I figure for the challenge to make it really hardcore is yeah let's start with nothing in that sense almost naked but not quite so yeah so that's all ready to go I think and the settings are all changed and let us load it up Perfect. Okay. Another thing I didn't check was the meteor showers. That is set to normal, I hope. Titan drop. It's difficulty hard, planet gravity 0.25 G. And that is interesting. So what is Titan? Is Titan a moon? Or is it... There's Triton as well. But I think he said Titan. Celestial Echo. Yay, he wins the vote. And we get to go to Titan. So that's where we're going to go. So let's do that. Let's respawn and see what happens. Yeah, this is funny. You have to move it in a certain way so it doesn't change the picture. It's funny. As soon as you highlight over this, it changes the picture. Or like the description. Too funny. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, woo! Woo! What's happening? What's happening? Press V for view. Woo! Everything's loading. What's going on? There we go. Woo! Okay. I, okay, here we are. We're, we're, we're dropping. Our dropship is damaged. That was the, the damaged dropship scenarios. <laughs> I guess there's a. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Look at how. Woo! We're going. So, this is like a moon. Crazy. This is going to be interesting. So, I should be able to fly from the surface to that beacon up there. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so, so let's see if there is anything in the passenger seat. Ah, uh, there isn't. So, we're going to take our pistol. We're gonna take our magazine. I'm actually just gonna take all this stuff with me. This is the station thing. This is where we are supposed Oh, I think we landed. I'm gonna create GPS marker for the station. And looks like we have landed here. Let us, we have, I don't have any tools. So that's interesting. But now we know the game plan. I'm gonna, ooh. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Okay. Let's turn off some stuff here. Make sure these are... How are we going to refill our oxygen with this damaged? And we need tools. So I know exactly what we're doing in this this wonderful uh, episode here. Whew. Okay. Here we are. We are up and about, and there's scrap that fell down from our ship. Let's quickly grab that. We're going to have to move quickly because uh, once the O2 goes, that's it. There should be some O2 in the survival kits. Turn off the signal O. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, let's just, just pick up the scrap. So this scrap should be... Oh, it's actually scrap metal. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, two's going down fast here. I didn't change any settings for O2. Um, okay, what is that over there? Like that blue. I wonder if that's ice. Probably. Uh, interesting. Okay. I'm going to see about uh, our. Let's see, in our pod here. The GPS is already marked on it, which is good. Um, oh, yeah, there's more stuff. Okay, so there's the survival kit here, I think. I can't even put that in there. That's so lame. Just wanted to, oh, no. Oh, okay, so how about, can I look inside this at all? Uh, I cannot interact with this because I need to repair it. Oh, beautiful. Such a beautiful mod. Okay, cool. Now there is a storage. Um, let's see, can I access it this way? Survival kit, can I small? Can I do it like oh, I cannot? Small cargo container, where is that? It's right there, so it's attached to this thing, it's on fire. Okay, well, you know what? We're screwed. So, I think first things first is to make sure that there's a GPS marker for this drop pod, which it looks like it is. Okay. So we're going to uh, change the color of the... Oh, why can't I change the color on this? Oh, that is interesting. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to make it to that beacon. I'm going to use the jetpack. Um, use use extra tank. So that's my risk. Man, this might be short run, folks. That is insane. And the power is only so much. Let's do it. Let's see if we can make it to that beacon. Oh shit. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's turn off dampeners. Okay. So this is the play. <laughs> Man, I hope there's tools. I hope this is uh, friendly. You discovered Galactic Alliance. Oh, please be friendly. Please be friendly. <laughs> There's like all these factions in the game now. These are the stations. Whoa. Okay. Okay, what is this place? Uh, oh yeah, okay, this is the top. Okay, I'm going to just go right here. This should be the entrance. There we go. Yay, we made it. Okay, this is such a beautiful place. Look at that. Look at this place. Let's see if I can take a, a pose here. Maybe take a screenshot. Maybe I'm actually going to try and do... Does it print screen? Or is it F12? It's F12 in Steam. <laughs> okay. So this might be for the thumbnail. I don't know. But how do we get our stuff back? There we go. Okay. Oops, I also walked the wrong way. Okay, so let's check this out. This should be oxygen uh, oxygenated, uh, or at least it will be. Yeah, right here. Okay, so now the oxygen timer stopped. Uh, perfect, okay. So vending machine, do we have any, oh, I, I, do we have any credits? Looks like I have 10,000, so we can actually buy stuff and you just have to cycle through these things uh, and actually buy stuff so you can buy the food and stuff and uh, yeah no we can't buy the elite welder looks like that's it okay okay so let's explore this is exciting <laughs> I'm glad this is the play so a lot of these some of these will be you know, access denied so this one will have an inventory. So sometimes there's stuff in the inventories. I th oh, here's another bed. Oh, come on, don't be cheap, guys. I need something. Uh, this stuff will have maybe stuff. Oh, there's a flare gun. Oh, that's the new stuff. Yay, I'm glad that we got that. Okay. So to add stuff to your hotbar, you would have to hit, uh, what is it, G, I think. And then there's character weapons. And this is how you can add them to your hotbar. Gonna add the pistol and we're gonna add the flare gun because the flare gun is new 
has four shots. Okay, and uh, let's let's reload our pistol, our, our trusty uh, pistol. Okay, perfect. Is that it? Okay. Oh look, the toilet here, huh? So this is how you can get organic material through the the one mod, um, which is pretty cool, I think. So those are useful now. Uh, they were just decorative items. These are all just decorative items, but some of the mods make them actually useful. Oh, this is a small place, if this is all there is. Uh, and that's not good either. Flare gun. I wonder if I can sell this stuff. Uh, we'll have to check it out. Bed 6. Oh, there's credits here. Uh, that's, that's, that's useful, but not useful enough. <laughs> I wish I could get into these. I would have to grind it down and make them enemies. I don't think that's the play right now. This is this is our survival place. Um, what the hell? Okay, is there like a downstairs then? Where do we come from? Oh no, up here. I'm being silly. Right here. This is a kind of a neat look place. Business shipment. Interesting. G cal. Um, okay, let's see what's in the store. Uh, this is crazy. This might be the same stuff as in that. Um, I think what's different is you can buy stuff, right? So if you go price per unit. So all the same stuff like in that vending machine up to here. And then the rest is this stuff. Looks like a mini merchant. Aggressive miner. Gerbil miner. I wonder what these are. But look at that. Look how expensive everything is. Oh my god. One billion. Ha! 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 Okay. Well, starter ship. The 390 million. That's too funny. Okay, yeah. So this is an option. Um, but obviously not right now. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. And these are the credits, I guess, that the station has. That's kind of interesting. Uh, okay, so that's not going to be helpful. Does this have any loots in it these planters are for the mod you can grow i wonder if you can use these planters to grow uh this is contracts so this is something that they added in one of the updates and one of the dlc and there's some interesting stuff in here but i need tools man tools escort contract surge contract the acquisition ones are like the crafting ones wow folks might be a short play here um I need to kind of think about what I can do. The ATM, I can deposit the money that we found, 49. So now we're at 14,000. Um, I have an extra flare gun, so we can maybe sell that. If we'll sell, can we, why do I see this stuff? Like, oh, okay, so it buys, it's buying these at 93, I think. And this is how much it's gonna buy. Um, it's a weird, very weird uh, way of displaying stuff, right? So they would have to have this in here for you to be able to sell it. So, yes. Now there are those unknown signals. So maybe that's the next play here. Um, I wish there was a, a recharge station here. Oh, this is interesting. It's a vending machine. Interesting clang. <laughs> I love it. Love that meta. Okay, um. This is access to now. Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, so this was a small place. Um. Damn it. Okay. Okay. There's an unknown signal there. Um, I have 72 power. I don't have a grinder, so I can't even grind it. Um. There's another beacon there that's 17 kilometers. Maybe we, I can head towards that one. Okay, so I guess this is gonna be a short episode, but this is decision time here for the audience. So I can go after that unknown signal, but I don't have a grinder. Uh, and those kind of happen regularly. Or I can go to the beacon um, and hope that along the way we find stuff uh, to be able to then come back and repair the respawn pod to get our oxygen going. Our oxygen going. Um, we might have enough hydrogen if we stay up here and then fly down, but this is but it's risky. And then power—that's another problem. 
that's going to you know, decrease once we leave the station. And I don't see where I am able to, to, to fix that, right? Like, usually there's like the charging stations and stuff, right? Survival stations. But these, these places don't seem to have that from my knowledge. Now, if I'm missing something, definitely l let me know in the... The comments. Um, I will be checking those. This is kind of dumb. <laughs> kind of a, it goes nowhere. I'm just kind of double checking. Yeah, I think we're. I'm gonna. So that's it. So yeah. So so thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful episode. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. And let me know where you think we should go. All right. If should we go to the the other beacon to hopefully find a grinder or or a repair tool or something in those? Because sometimes there's tools and that stuff. And and this was a, sm a small station to be fair. Or to go there and to hopefully maybe we can access the storage, and hopefully it's something good. So yeah. So until then, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.